Welcome to Chapter 5 of the Quick Train Modeler Getting Started tutorial series. In this module, you'll learn how to perform three useful analysis functions, namely line of sight, slope, and helicopter landing zone, or HLZ, analysis. Please note that these analyses will only work on surface models, so we will use a DSM for this lesson. We will be using the Iowa Rural LiDAR data again in this video, so feel free to visit appliedimagery.com download and download the zip file containing the Iowa Rural LiDAR data and the imagery zip file. Let's start by loading the Iowa DSM into the scene. As we learned in Chapter 2, we can use the Open Model button, then navigate to the Iowa Rural Data folder. Let's also overlay an image into the DSM. This will create a much more realistic scene. We'll use the search tool to find a matching image. Just move the cursor anywhere in the scene and type F on the keyboard for find. The search tool will pop up with the search coordinate pre-populated. We'll select the Iowa Rural LiDAR data folder and search on images. Click find images and select the four band mosaic and click load images. Now we have a much more realistic scene to work with. Now that we have the DSM and the image loaded, let's start with the line of sight analysis. Line of sight is based upon markers, which define where the observers are for the analysis. To place a marker in the scene, click the marker button, place the crosshair on where you want the marker to be, left click and drag the marker into its final position. Alternatively, you can place the cursor where you want the marker to be, Hold down M on the keyboard and left click to quickly place markers in the locations where you need them. To perform line of sight analysis, click the line of sight button, which is the eyeball button. We'll use the default settings for now. Just make sure your marker is highlighted in the list and click apply. The line of sight results should be immediately visible after the calculation is completed. Line of sight results, as well as all analysis results, can be toggled on and off both in the surface model folder under vertex colors, as well as in the vertex color toggle on the button bar. Compound line of sight performs the same line of sight analysis, but on more than one observer at a time. We'll place another marker on another barn and perform the analysis together. Select both markers and click apply. The compound line of sight analysis results are now visible with the green areas being the locations that are visible to both my marker six and my marker one in the scene. Vector line of sight is complementary to the raster line of sight that we just performed. Just type L on the keyboard and a vector will appear that connects to each visible marker in the scene. A green vector indicates there is line of sight and a red vector indicates that there's no line of sight. You can hold down L on the keyboard and move the cursor around to get a more dynamic view of the line of sight vector. Type L again to remove the line of sight vector from the scene. Quick Terrain Modeler's slope analysis tool evaluates the slope in the entire scene and colors the scene accordingly. While there is a button available if you reconfigure your toolbar in the File, Options, and Settings menu, we will access the slope analysis function from the Analysis menu, Analysis Tools Vertex Colors, and choose Slope Map. For a basic slope map, the default palette is blue to red, but if another palette is required, there are many built-in palettes. Simply choose the blue to red palette and click apply. Note that the slope analysis is now visible as another snapshot underneath the line of sight maps in the layer tree. Checking any of these boxes will activate the corresponding analysis result in the scene. If a custom slope palette is required, 
Start with a blank palette on the default palette pull-down menu. In this scene, a farmer may want to highlight areas of less than 20% slope, as these are the best areas for farming. Change the slope units to percent. Type 20 in the breakpoint input field and click add breakpoint. Right click in the region above the breakpoint and set the color to red. Click apply. The results now show areas of undesirably high slope, and this has replaced the slope map snapshot in the layer tree. Helicopter Landing Zone, or HLZ, is a specialized form of slope analysis. There is also a button for this, but we will access it from the Analysis menu, Analysis Tools Vertex Colors, and HLZ Map. In the HLZ interface, you will need to set the maximum tolerable slope, the minimum necessary radius, and the delta Z tolerance, which is the maximum size object you could have in an otherwise good HLZ. Think of it as the ground clearance of the aircraft. Click Apply, and the results will appear shortly. When the results appear, there will be another snapshot in the layer tree for the helicopter landing zone. Any of these analysis results can be easily exported as a georeferenced raster product. Right-click on the snapshot in the layer tree and choose an export format. If you choose KMZ, Google Earth will automatically open and display the exported image in Google Earth. In this example, the HLZ results are displayed in Google Earth. That concludes Chapter 5 of the Quick Train Modeler Getting Started series. At this point, you should be comfortable with the line of sight, slope, and HLZ analysis. Our next step will be to do some basic annotations using markers, vectors, and bookmarks. Please view the rest of the series on our website and contact us if you need any help. We'd love to hear from you.